Here's a quick video on how to create uh, maps in Foundry. So there's uh, tons of great tutorials on how to make maps outside of Foundry and bring them in. Um, but um, not a whole lot on how to create maps within Foundry. And uh, I thought I'd just make a quick one here. And I'm using Foundry 10. So I created a world and I'm now going to create a scene. And let's call this scene uh, Wilderness. And this will be a scene where my players will come across some kind of random encounter. I'm not exactly sure what that's going to be yet. Um, so right now we're going to make this uh, on the small side. So let's make it 1500 by 1500 pixels. All right, so let's go ahead and start tiling. Now, there's an option where you can create uh, maps using tiles, and I've already got some tiles that I put together from uh, various places on the internet. I'm, I'm a, um, I bought some assets uh, that I'll link to in the description. And specifically, there's some really good ones uh, for forest floor textures. And so I'll use this forest floor texture right now. Um, we're just doing something really super basic, so no need to go crazy uh, with a giant map. And these tile pretty nicely if you let them snap together. All right, so we've made our forest floor. And maybe we'll increase the size of this a little bit. It might be a little too small. So I'm gonna go in here and make it Alright. Okay, so now I'm just going to move that in place. And so we've got our forest floor and uh, it's time to start throwing things in. Now, I haven't really given this too much thought, so I'm just going to wing it here. So um, I've got a tile pack um, and I'll link to it in the description, but uh, I've got one for camp, camp things. And so maybe what will happen is this will be a one of the one of those random encounters where the group will come across a camp. So I'll start with a campfire and maybe throw in some rocks here. And might also show you guys how to do... Now, there's some really great options in Foundry 10 for doing um, trees and how you can kind of walk underneath them. So I'll show you how I do trees. Now, I, I, I first start off with a tree stump. And I'll just put one right here. And I designate that tree stump as being at ground level. And then what I'll do is put in a tree canopy. And this way players can kind of walk underneath the tree canopy, but still be uh, blocked, have their vision blocked by the tree stump. So if we come over here, I can choose this to be if I right click on it up here where it's an overhead tile but then down here this tree stump is at ground level so we can see that over here it's an underfoot tile so then if I come in here 
and I then create my walls, my terrain walls, around this stump. And I can do that by just hitting the command key and just quickly doing, creating my terrain wall here. Okay, so I now have a wall, but I have this. So if I click on this foreground layer, I can move this, this tree into position here. So now if my player comes in here, they're gonna go underneath the tree, but they'll still have their vision blocked by this tree stump. And I'll show you that in a minute. Let me just add some lighting. Over here. And I'm gonna throw my character in. So if I move this character and he's got dark vision, which is why it's partially black and white and color. But over here, if I move him underneath the tree, you'll see that the tree disappears, but my vision is still obscured by the tree stump. If I move him out of the, of the tree canopy, you can see that that tree comes in and out. But the vision is still obscured by the, the tree stump. So that would be like the main uh, like root of the tree. So that works out really well, um, especially when you've got a lot of trees, you can start hiding your monsters behind those trees. And even when the characters get close enough to where the tree top disappears, uh, you can see that they could still be hidden. So let's add a few more things to this campsite. So we go back into tiles and go into the tile browser and I can start to kind of flesh this out a little bit. So maybe I'll add a tent over here. And a few, uh, a few more rocks. Mm, add a log. And some maybe a couple of these sleeping bags. Put this up here. Start filling this out with some shrubs. And I've got another really nice uh, pack called, let's see. Forest foliage. And so I can start to really kind of, and I know that uh, there are some mapping programs that make this way simpler. Um, but if you want to augment those mapping programs with uh, your own foliage on top, then this would be a great way to do it using tiles. And of course, you can also uh, bring in some overhead tiles too to kind of give it some depth as well. Okay. And so here we go. We've got the beginnings of a encounter with a mysterious camp that you could throw into your adventures. Hope this helps and I'll see you on the next video.